Hello friends, myself Dr. Seema Date. I want to discuss with you something about the statistic and my topic is introduction to statistic. Actually statistic is not new, it is as old as human society itself. But at that time, the people don't know what they use is a statistic. We know that in ancient times, the ruler collect the informations regarding the, their strength of the people for the military potential. They also collect the informations regarding wealth to introduce new taxes and levies. Next, please. Then the question arises from where this word statistic is derived. So the word statistic is derived from the Latin word status, Italian word statista and the German word statistic. The meaning of each is nothing but the political status. Next. Now the statistic is used in two ways. First one is singular and second one is plural. In singular statistic is nothing but the numerical data while in plural ways statistic means subject itself. Next. Now how we define the statistic? The different statistician defines statistics differently from which Dr. R. A. Fisher states that statistic is the applied branch of mathematics which specializes data while Marshall says that statistics are the straw out of which I like every other economist make a brick while Bowley says that statistic is the numerical statement of facts in any department of inquiry placed in the relations to each other. Now generally statistic is defined as it is the branch of mathematics which deals with collections of data, presentations of data, analysis of data and interpretations of data means we collect data, then we present data and we analyze it by some statistical tools and then we take some conclusion regarding our collected data. Though different authors give the definition of statistic differently, but actually the definitions given by Dr. R. A. Fisher, who is the father of statistic, is considered to be exact definition. Next. Now we know that in statistic, we frequently use the word data. Then what is data? When we ask the questions to pupils, they said that data is nothing but the information. But there is some difference between data, information and knowledge. Now what is data? Data is unstructured fact where information is captured or structured data and knowledge is awareness or the conscious understanding of concept or information about information. For example, you see me, what am I? So you say that the madam is 5.4 feet, color, the hair color is black, eyes color is black. This is data because this is fact. But when you take my photograph, then it, it concludes into information. And when you take my photograph and see the people who don't know about me, at that time they say about me what is me, uh, this consider as a knowledge. Next. There are different types of data, quantitative data, qualitative data, time series data, geographical data, nominal data and ordinal data. Now what is quantitative data? When you collect data regarding some quantity, it is said to be quantitative data. Suppose you collect the population of any city, then it is a quantitative data. Then qualitative data. Qualitative data means when you collect the data regarding some quality, it is said to be qualitative data. For example, the number of blind people in any city. Now geographical data, when you collect the data regarding some geographical place or location, it is said to be geographical data. Now nominal data, you consider it as when you consider, uh, collect the data regarding any name, it is said to be nominal data. When you collect the data regarding any order, it is said to be ordinal data. Next. Now there are different types of collections of data. First one is primary method and second one is secondary method. In primary method, there are four methods. One is direct personal interview, second is indirect personal interview, then questionnaire method, then questionnaire sent through enumerator. Now what is direct personal interview? Here the researcher himself goes to the field of inquiry and directly collect the data from the informants. It is said to be direct personal interview. But sometimes the condition is arises that the informants are not interested to supply the informations. Suppose you want to collect the data regarding some addictions, 
alcoholic addictions at that times the informants can supply you the information here what you do you can go towards the third party and collect the data about its alcoholic addictions here we say that it is a indirect personal interview now we go through our questionnaire method what is questionnaire method here first what is questionnaire the set of questions is said to be questionnaire generally the researcher use this method here we make a questionnaire and send through it a mail and the informants give us to fulfill this questionnaire this is said to be questionnaire method now questionnaire sent through enumerator who is enumerator the persons who is well known about statistic these persons take a questionnaires and go towards informants and fill this questionnaire with his own handwriting hence it is said to be questionnaire sent through enumerator that is schedule method now this is a secondary method in secondary method we collect the data from published and unpublished sources next first we collect data then we organize data how we organize data we organize data with the help of classification or tabulation what is classification classification is nothing but the systematic arrangement of collected data in groups or categories according to some similarities for example if we classify the students in male and female this is said to be classification of data and after classification we tabulate data means we for a process of placing classified data into tabular form means we put up this collected data in a table that is systematic arrangement of data in rows and column thank you very much thank you for watching this video